this is a piece of basswood that I'm using and I drew on my fish. I got that from a picture I found online. It's a steelhead trout. So outlined it here and then on the top view I created this form here so I could get some kind of some motion on it. I left it a little thick on the tail end because I'm going to um, carp that um, so it does a little swoop type thing. So now I take it over to the bandsaw and cut it out. All right, so I've got it uh, cut out in this dimension and then I just hot glued these pieces on. So now I can run it through and cut it out this way. I'm not gonna show you that. It's, it doesn't show up very well on camera anyway. But I'm gonna use the bandsaw and just run it through there. All right, and now I can just take off these pieces. Sometimes I need to take a chisel in there, just kind of pound it. So this is what I have right now. Kind of drew the features in and I drew a midline on all four of the faces as now I need to go around and round over all of the corners here. And I want to leave these lines. I've marked some lines where um, I know not to cut. So like here where the fin is, I don't want to cut that. Um, it just helps me so I know where I can be aggressive and where I can't. Got to be careful when uh, you get close to the outside here. I don't want to be pressing too much and putting pressure out on the sides here because as this gets thinner, this will get weaker. Um, so I got to be careful about that. I got to be careful because the grain is running in this direction right here, like this. So it'd be easy to get a catch and take off part of this. So. I'm trying to work this outer edge here, and then I'll come back and work this way, coming back in this direction.
So I'm going to keep it kind of thick, but I'm going to give the illusion of it being thin by paring down on the edges like this. This is what I've got so far. I need to sand it now. I've already done the other side sanding. Did this with just 60 grit so far. And I'll use 100, probably 150, uh, and maybe even 200 or 20. Um, we'll see when I get there. Um, but it really starts to make it look more realistic. And then of course I've got the details to put in. So that's what I have now. It's all sanded and I've got drawn in some of the details I need to carve yet. So I'm going to start with all these uh, fins, get in these lines uh, to get those. I'm just going to use this tiny V gouge that I have. I've got uh, those V grooves cut down here. Up here, I already I snapped this off, I had to glue it back on. So I think what I'm gonna do, instead of using the V tool, I'm gonna use a knife, go and make two lines. I'm gonna sort of support it on the back side with my finger back here. All right, and then go back in the opposite direction to create kind of a V groove in there. Not a big one. There we go. So like that. Doesn't put as much pressure on the delicate fin then. All right, now I gotta cut out all these lines on the on the face. All right, so that's what I've got for this one. I still need to paint this, but I'm gonna do that in another episode because this is actually part of the Osprey carving that I'm going to be doing. Um, so I'll do that next time. I think it turned out pretty good. There's a few areas I wish I would have done a little better job on, but uh, overall, my first fish I've ever carved. So not too bad, not too shabby. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support.